Due to the loss of his younger brother, William has given up on trying to make things right with Harry. Previously, Prince Harry and Prince William had a very strong sibling relationship. According to reports, Prince William has given up on attempting to heal fences with Prince Harry because he believes he has lost his younger brother as a result of their ongoing dispute. According to royal authority Neil Sean, Prince William has given up on attempting to patch fences with the Duke of Sussex, who currently resides in the U.S., according to a close source. Neil Sean, the owner of Neil Sean's daily news headlines on YouTube, stated in one of his most recent videos. According to a very good source, William is feeling realistic about the entire matter with his brother. He believes that he has given Harry all the guidance and advice he can muster. Harry chose to follow his own advice, and Prince William has already revealed to a reliable source that he is accepting the loss of his younger brother. Mistrust is the topic here. Even if he said, let's forgive and forget, William still has the uneasy suspicion that if he allows Harry in, their chats might someday be made public. William is focused on raising his three children with his wife Catherine, according to Mr. Sean, even if he misses his younger brother. This could change in the future, but it goes to illustrate where the brothers are right now, he said in conclusion. He believes Harry is a hopeless case. Earlier this month, Prince Harry published his shocking autobiography Spare, which contained some unexpected disclosures about his older brother. According to Prince Harry, William physically assaulted him in 2019 for their disagreement with Meghan Markle. Harry alleged that William grabbed him by the collar, took off his jewelry, and then slammed the 38-year-old to the ground, resulting in obvious injuries. William is said to have become angry after calling the Duchess of Sussex difficult, rude, and abrasive before the altercation. Recent reports from a royal specialist suggested that William feels extremely betrayed by Harry. Charles Ray, a royal expert who spoke on behalf of Spingini, stated, I think it has been and still is very difficult for William, in particular, to speak out, not just about the specific claims against a Prince of Wales, but for the sheer fact that both William and Harry were so close. I also think William feels really betrayed by his younger brother, who might feel the same way about his older brother," the author continued. Following the success of Spare, Prince Harry wants to win in the coronation discussions. Prince Harry is claimed to have been put in touch with by King Charles III, with the assistance of the Archbishop of Canterbury, but one royal expert thinks the Duke will not relent on his demands. A royal biographer claims that Prince Harry can't negotiate when it comes to the coronation. As Harry now had an act for working with the royal family, Angela Levin said she did not think negotiations between the prince and the firm before the coronation would be successful. She emphasized that in any conflict with his family, the Duke of Sussex wants to win. Negotiating to give him fantastic seats right at the front, I think that's disgusting, said royal biographer Angela Levin. He is not deserving of it. The crucial point is that Harry will not compromise and is unable to engage in negotiation. He is not the type of person to offer an apology or provide a solution. Prince Harry will probably feel more confident in discussions with his family after the financial success of Meghan, his Netflix docuseries, and his biography Spare, predicts Ms. Levin. She said. He now feels more certain that he's got the knack for genuinely interacting with the royal family, and he wants to win, Julia Hartley Brewer said for Talk TV. Up until the very last moment, I believe he won't answer yes or no. The remarks follow rumors that King Charles III has asked Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby to represent him in negotiations with the Sussexes on the coronation.